this is Dinosaur Odell, and welcome to Stomp, Clap, and Sing. We're going to start today with our theme song. Check it out. Stomp, clap, and sing. Stomp, clap, and sing. Stomp, clap, and sing. And now we're going to add our stomp and clap effect. We're going to do two stomps and two claps. Here we go. Stomp, clap, and sing. Stomp, clap, and sing. Stomp, clap, and sing. All right, now it's time for our singing sound effect. It's going to be something called scat singing, where you make up the sounds and the melodies as you go along. Stomp, clap, Usually you don't use real and words. Sing. Zibbity bop, beep bop, stomp. It's kind of like that. Clap and sing. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, stomp, here's another one. Clap and sing. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, stomp, no words. I get it. Clap and sing. See the ladder, 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 way wow. Now it's your turn to do scat singing. Get ready. Stomp, clap, and sing. Stomp, clap, and sing. Stomp, clap, and sing. Okay, let's try it all together. Stomp, clap, and sing. Wow, wow, Stomp, wow. clap, and sing. Stomp, clap, and sing. Love it. Hey, welcome to Stomp, Clap, and Sing, and my story campfire. I'm Dinosaur Odell, and we're about to hear a story from my cousin, Joe. Joe actually grew up on a ranch. He'll tell you a little bit about that, and also he'll tell you how he got his nickname, Dirty Joe. Howdy. My name is Joe, and I'm Dinosaur Odell's cousin. Now, Dino grew up in the city. I grew up on a ranch. We were always riding horses and roping cattle. And during the summer, we'd get awfully sweaty and dirty. And my ma, she would always say, Joe, you better go take a bath. Get on in the tub. I did not like to take a bath. And my ma, she kept hounding me. Finally, she gave up. She said, Joe, you're on your own. You got to figure out how to keep yourself clean. This song is about what happened when I did not take a bath for three weeks. I'm going to need your help. Everybody take one hand, play one side of your lap like so. Other hand, other side of your lap. Now try the crisscross. See if you can crisscross that. Try the head bongo, top of the head right here. Mm -hmm, that's right. Now we're going to try it with the mandolin. Whenever the mandolin plays, you're going to you're going to lap drum, and whenever it stops, you'll all freeze. Let's give it a go. One, two, one, two, three. Ah. Oh yeah. Try those lap drums. Uh huh. You never know when it's going to freeze. Good. Back to lap drums. All right, I think we're ready. Well, I'm Dirty Joe, I'm known east to west as the dirtiest fella alive. I get dirty at night, dirty in the morning, I get dirty from nine to five. I got dirt in my toes, I got dirt in my nose, I got dirt all over my shirt. I got dirt in my hips, it's bringing on to tears, I'm a giant walking hunk of dirt. People always stare when I go anywhere, my clothes always look such a mud. Something should be done when the people start to run and mom making such a fuss. Well, I know I'm not the cleanest feller. Well, I know I'm a bit of a smeller. I ain't no flower. I better take a shower. I'm walking in a cloud of dust. All right, band. Nice work. We're going to try band solo on the count of three. 
The mandolin's gonna stop playing. Y'all gonna play lap drums as quickly as possible. One, two, three, hit it. Yeah, Let's try the crisscross on the lap drum. Try the shoulder drum. Try that head bongo. Can you all do the belly bongo? Give that a try. I right, try the head bongo and the belly bongo at the same time. All right, try, try playing the head bongo while standing on one foot. It's not easy. You gotta balance. Don't be hopping up and down. Just try set. All right, you know what? You can't beat them, join them. Here's what I like you to do. Try play the belly bongo while jumping in a circle. That's right, jumping round and round. All right, bring it back to lap drum. Here we go, it's gonna get a little faster. Well, I'm Dirty Joe, I'm known east to west as the dirtiest fella alive. Get dirty at night, dirty in the morning, I get dirty from nine to five. I got dirty in my toes, dirty in my nose, I got dirt all over my shirt, I got dirty in the middle. Well, people always stare when I go anywhere, my clothes always look such a must. Summer should be done when the people start to run and mom's making such a fuss. Well, I don't want to make a police feller, I don't want to be a smeller, ain't no flower, but I can shower, walk in a cloud of dust. Oh, yeah. This is what we call the big ending. You got to clap your hands above your head and jump. Get on up there, jumping up and down. On the count of three, everybody do a single jump, a single clap. All together. One, two, three, jump. One, two, three, clap. One, two, three. All right, double jump and clap. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, good enough double. Let's try a triple. One, two, three. Woo! One, two, three. All right. On the count of three, everybody's sitting back down on the ground. One, two, three. Well... Boy, howdy, that was a good one. Thank you all. Thank you all for playing along on the lap drums with my song about what happened when I did not take a bath for three weeks. Now, I'm Dinosaur Odell's cousin Joe, and it's good to see y'all. Take care. Until next time. When Joe and I were kids, we used to love hearing our grandpa tell stories. And Grandpa Odell, he traveled all over the world. Here's a story that takes place on an Australian beach. I'm not sure if this one is true. You tell me what you think. It all started when I was hanging 10 on my longboard. I was out at that beach where Big Al sells his delicious fish tacos. Mm, mm, mm. It was just before lunch and I was out surfing, goofy footing close to shore, and there were a ton of admirers. Well, I was walking up and down the board and flexing my muscles, brushing and flossing my teeth, you know, the usual, just showing off a little bit. Folks on shore were waving and taking photographs. They loved it. The kids' eyes were as big as saucers, and they'd never seen a 103-year-old carve up the waves with such razzmatazz. Just then, I realized that everyone on the beach is looking and pointing at something behind me. I spin around. Two dorsal fins heading my Great way. Great white sharks think they're going to have me for lunch. Oh. Think again, fellas. Now, great whites are beautiful creatures, but they have horrid table manners. Always tearing and ripping and gulping at their food like they ain't ever heard of a knife and fork. For crying out loud, great whites, slow down. Chew your food. You got 240 teeth. Use them. So, the sharks are getting close. That's when I spool out 10 yards of waxed mint Dental floss and dipsy do I 180 off the lip of the wave. Duck low, pull up, and as the shark swims past, I loop the floss into the mouths of the great white like a bitten bridle. Yeehaw! It's time to ride. Flapping their tails. Diving and dodging. The sandcastle's ruined. 
But the pails are tied to each end of my surfboard like a dual hull catamaran. And by George, those sharks are still trying to shake. But it ain't so easy to get rid of Grandpa Odell, I'll tell you that. The extra strength floss is still below their gum line. And as those sharks pull me and the dual hull sand pail surfboard catamaran out to open water, I see a giant wave a coming. I ain't never seen no wave this high. It was picking up moisture from the clouds. A monster wave. A tsunami. That's a big wave. And it's headed straight towards the beach. There's babies drinking milk. Kids swimming in the shallows. Dad singing songs. Moms playing poker. And retired pirates running a game of kick the can. They got no chance. Unless I act quick. I steer the great whites to the base of the tsunami. Check the sandcastle buckets that are tied to each end of my surfboard. And then I bite my finger. That's right. I had to do it. Bit down onto my thumb and drew blood. Sometimes you have to make a personal sacrifice for the greater good. I squeeze a couple of drops into the ocean. Wait about 2.6 seconds for the sharks to register the smell. And then, bam, whammo, pow. The frenzy is on. The sharks are thrashing through the water, pulling the surfboard like a teeter-totter in and out of the waves. One side's up, the other side's down. One side's down, the other side is up. The feeding frenzy has begun. Now the buckets are going going under, filling up, and fleeing the water a mile out to sea. Whoosh! And that wave is getting smaller. Whoosh! Back and forth, pulling water from the tsunami. I squeeze more blood out of my finger, and those sharks are going crazy. Frenzy! Faster! Buckets of water shooting skyward. Whoosh! And the tsunami is getting weaker. Go, sharks, go! Go, go sharks, go. go! Bucket after bucket. Go, go sharks, go! Go, sharks, go! Whoosh! And as the last kilo of water arced across the sky, the sun shone through the mist, and there were three fishes sliding down the rainbow. Beautiful. And that wave was so gentle when it made sure that the dad sang kumbaya and a baby burped. I surfed in, reapplied sunscreen, and then purchased 200 fish tacos from Big Al and threw them to those sharks. I give them all the credit for saving the day. Sharks have beautiful smiles and nothing makes them happier than eating. Chew your food, boys. Anywho, that's a good day at the Great Barrier Reef. I surfed an Australian tsunami, made some good friends, and taught sharks good dental hygiene. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Grandpa Odell's story is a tall tale. But even if his stories aren't all true, he still has some pretty funny stories and even some good ideas. Like this next song, it's a song about dental hygiene for sharks. What's dental hygiene? It's like brushing and flossing. You'll see. Well, how many of you out there are sharks disguised as kids? I know there's some of you out there. And this is a song for all 240 teeth in your mouth. Well, that's a lot of teeth. Check it out. I don't tell a shark what to do. I don't tell a shark how to chew. I don't tell a shark who's the boss. But if you're a shark, you'd better use floss. Use floss. Use floss. Get that piece of anchovy sauce. Use floss. Use floss. If you're a shark, you'd better use floss. Woohoo! Huh. To have a good one, all of you sharks disguised as kids. Oh man, we used to hang out at the campfire like this and listen to Grandpa Hotel tell his stories and sing his songs. They were always, you know, silly, you know, ridiculous even. Tall tales, right? Uh, this next song is a jumping song, and it's actually based on an Australian animal. We've got a little Australian theme running through here. This, uh, this animal is, of course, the kangaroo. So go ahead and stand up and get ready to move. Kangaroo, kangaroo. In Australia and the zoo If I were a kangaroo I'd jump I'd jump Kangaroo, kangaroo In Australia 
小鸭 and the zoo. If I were a kangaroo, I'd jump. I'd jump. Funky jumpy kangaroo, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Funky jumpy kangaroo, what you gonna do? Jump. 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 Jump, 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 jump. Kangaroo, kangaroo, in Australia and the zoo. If I were a kangaroo, I'd spin. I'd spin. I'd spin. Kangaroo, kangaroo, in Australia and the zoo. If I were a kangaroo, I'd jump. I'd jump. Hey, nice jumping. This next song is about one of my favorite animals. It's an insect called the dragonfly. I think they're beautiful. And you'll always find them around water, lakes and rivers. Now dragonflies are about as big as your pinky. So go ahead and hold your pinky up and fly your pinky. You know, fly it around the back of your head and above your head and then f go ahead and fly it behind your back. That's how drag dragonflies are about that big. But you know what's kind of wild? Back during the age of dinosaurs, the Paleozoic age, dragonflies were as big as your forearm. Could you imagine seeing a dragonfly that big? I mean, back in the Paleozoic age, there would be a lot of other things to worry about as well. I guess a giant dragonfly would be the least of my worries. Anyway, I hope you love this song as much as I do. I am one dragonfly buzzing through the sky. Dragonflies come play with me. Two plus one will be fun. Two plus one equals. Let's see, two plus one is three. Hi, you guys. Now we're three dragonflies buzzing through the skies. Two more friends will soon arrive. Two plus three, that's easy. Two plus three equals five. Cool, five dragonflies. We are five dragonflies buzzing through the skies. Three more flies arriving late. Five plus three is no problem for me. Five plus three equals eight. Right on, eight dragonflies. We are eight dragonflies buzzing through the skies. There's two more flying round the bend. Eight plus two, simple to do. Eight plus two equals, um, ten. Wow, there's ten of us? Now we're ten dragonflies buzzing through the skies. Four dragonflies will leave the mix. Ten minus four, they went to the store. Ten minus four equals six. Bye. We are six dragonflies buzzing through the sky. Two dragonflies have to do their chores. Six minus two, off they flew. Six minus two equals... All right, so six minus two equals four. See you later. We are four dragonflies buzzing through the sky. Three tired dragonflies said we're done. Four minus three, mathematically, four minus three equals one. 
I am one dragonfly buzzing through the sky. All this flying makes me wanna sleep. No more counting dragonflies. It's time to start counting sheep. One sheep, two sheep, three sheep, four, five, six, seven. Oh. Hey, this next song is called Basketball, a North American game. And it's about James Naismith, who was trying to figure out a game that people could play indoors during the winter. So this was way back in 1891, and he actually took a peach basket and nailed it to the wall, and then they took a soccer ball and started throwing the soccer ball into the basket. Every time the ball went into the basket, somebody had to take out a ladder, climb up the ladder, reach into the basket, pull out the soccer ball, throw it to the ground, climb back down the ladder, move the ladder out of the way, and then they could play again. It took them a while to figure out that they could just cut a hole out of the bottom of the basket. Enjoy this song and be sure to practice your jump shot. Go ahead. One, two, three, shoot. One, two, three, four. Playing D, rebound, kick it out, crowd sound. Shot clock, pass to me, drive in, referee. Blow the whistle, here we go, foul line, free throw. Line it up, back. Under pressure, will we win? Basketball, you got it. The North American game. Basketball, nice shot. The North American game. If you could pick your team from the greats, what a dream. Shaq, LeBron, Mamba, Strike, Curry's three. I like Mike. Daryl Miller does not miss. Daryl Miller's Reggie sis. Bird and Magic book can pass. Guess I'll have to pick us last. Basketball, that's fair. The North American game. Basketball. I'll sub in the North American game. Who invented this game? James Naismith was his name. Back in 1891, winter weather was no fun. Outside, ice storm. Inside, stay warm. About to throw a soccer ball into, into baskets on the wall. Basketball. They were peach baskets. The North American game. Basketball. Going worldwide. The North American game. Hey, thanks for joining me for Stomp, Clap, and Sing. My name is Dinosaur Odell, and we've got time for one more story and song. And in this next story and song, let's just say, does anybody here speak Space Alien? Because if you do, it's about to come in handy. One day, while I was walking through the park with my friends, we heard a strange noise. We looked under rocks and in bushes, but, but we couldn't find anything. And then one of my friends saw it. Over there, above the tree. Floating above the highest branches was a spaceship. Whoa. A UFO. Cool. A flying saucer. It was shiny with green, blue, and yellow lights flashing. Just then, it started to make a weird noise. <laughs> Crash landing. So we ran over, and when we arrived, a green guy was climbing out of the spaceship. He looked at us with his three eyes, and then he said to us with his two mouths, he said, What did he say? I, I don't speak space alien. Luckily, one of my friends studied space alien when he was in college, and he said that the space alien said, Hi, my name is Zah. I am an alien from another star. My ship would crash right over there. I was hoping that you all would help me make some repairs. Push this button with your finger. With your finger, with your finger. Hi, my name is Zah. I am an alien from another star. My ship would crash right over there. I was hoping that you all would help me make some repairs Push this button with your other finger Other finger, other finger Hi, my name is Zah His name is Zah I am an alien from another star My ship would crash 
right over there I was hoping that you all would help me make some repairs Push this button with your foot With your foot, with your foot Hi, my name is Zah His name is Zah I'm an alien from another star My ship had crashed right over there I was hoping that you all would help me make some repairs Push this button with your other foot Other foot, other foot my name is Zah. I am an alien from another star. My ship had crashed right over there. Ooh. I was hoping that you all help me make some repairs. Push this button with your bottom. With your bottom, with your bottom. Hi, my name is Zah. I am an alien from another star. My ship had crashed right over there. Ooh. I was hoping that you all help me make some repairs. Push this button with your tongue. With your tongue, with your tongue. My name is Zah. I am an alien from another star. My ship had crashed right over there. Ooh. I was hoping that you all help me make some repairs. Push this button with your elbow. Your elbow, your elbow. Hi, my name is Zah. I am an alien from another star. My ship had crashed right over there. Ooh. I was hoping that you all help me make some repairs. Push these buttons even faster. 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 All the lights started to blink on and off. Yellow, blue, and green. Zar looked at all of us and said, That means thank you in space alien. And then Zar climbed into his spaceship. And as it floated up into space, we could see him standing at the window, waving. Bye, Zar. Come back soon. Bye. Stomp, clap, and sing. Zibbity bop beep bop. Stomp, clap, and sing. Hey, 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 hey. Stomp, clap, and sing. Wow, wow, wow. Stomp, clap, and sing. Stomp, clap, and sing. Wow, wow. Stomp, clap, and sing stomp clap and sing